Picture this, a colossal asteroid, the largest known to man, hurtling towards Earth at breakneck speeds. Have you ever wondered what would happen if it actually hit? This celestial body, bigger than the largest mountain and faster than a speeding bullet, holds the potential to change life as we know it. The collision could set off a series of catastrophic events, the magnitude of which is hard to comprehend. In the next few moments, we'll break down the events that would follow such an unimaginable incident. The moment the asteroid meets the Earth's surface, the impact would be unlike anything we've witnessed before. It would be akin to a cosmic wrecking ball with a force so immense that it would make our most powerful explosives look like mere firecrackers. Now picture this, the asteroid hurtles through our atmosphere, friction heating its surface to a blistering temperature. In an instant, it strikes, carving out an enormous crater. The size of this crater would be so vast that it would dwarf even the largest cities on our planet. Understand this, an asteroid of this magnitude slamming into Earth is not just a simple thud. No. It's a cataclysmic event, releasing energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. This force would be enough to cause a massive shockwave radiating out from the point of impact. Imagine the ground beneath your feet shaking violently, buildings collapsing, forests toppling, all testament to the raw power of this celestial intruder. But this shockwave is not the only concern. The impact would also hurl enormous amounts of debris into the sky, blocking out the sun and casting a shadow over the Earth. This is not a scenario from a science fiction movie, but a potential reality. An asteroid collision of this magnitude would be a world-altering event, changing life as we know it. However, it's important to note that the probability of such an event occurring is extremely low. We're talking about odds so small that you're more likely to win the lottery twice, but it's still a possibility, and understanding what could happen is crucial for our survival. But the immediate impact is just the beginning. The aftermath of the collision is where things get even more interesting. In the next scene, we'll delve into what could happen when the dust settles and the Earth begins to grapple with the effects of this catastrophic event. It's a tale of fire and ice, of destruction and rebirth. So, stay tuned as we continue our exploration into the potential consequences of the largest asteroid hitting Earth. Following the immediate impact, a global firestorm would ensue. Imagine, if you will, a gargantuan wave of energy spreading out from the point of impact. This energy, released by the collision of the asteroid with our planet, is so intense that it instantly vaporizes everything in its path, setting the world ablaze. The sheer force of the impact ejects an enormous amount of debris into the atmosphere. Picture a rain of flaming rocks, some as large as cities, others no bigger than a grain of sand, shooting out in all directions. This isn't just an ordinary rain but a rain of fire and brimstone, a spectacle of destruction on an unimaginable scale. Now, you might think that this debris would eventually fall back to Earth causing further destruction. And you'd be right. But there's more to it than that. The debris doesn't just fall back to Earth. It goes higher, much higher, reaching the outer limits of our atmosphere and beyond. And when it does so, it brings about a catastrophic change in our world. As this debris spreads out in the atmosphere, it forms a dense cloud that blocks out the sun. Think of it as a worldwide volcanic winter, only much, much worse. The sun's rays, that vital source of light and heat that sustains all life on our planet, can no longer reach the Earth's surface. The effect of this is immediate and terrifying. The temperature drops precipitously. A chill descends on the world, a chill unlike anything we've ever experienced. It's as if the world has been plunged into a deep freeze, a freeze that penetrates to the very core of our being. And just as we're struggling to come to terms with this new, cold, dark world, we realize that the worst is yet to come. The flaming rocks that were ejected into the atmosphere are now starting to fall back to Earth. And as they do so, they set the world ablaze once again, causing a global firestorm of epic proportions. As the world plunges into darkness, the next phase of our post-impact world begins. With the sun blocked out, Earth would experience what's known as a nuclear winter. Imagine a constant, never-ending winter. Sounds like the plot of a dystopian novel, right? But in reality, this is what would happen if the largest asteroid hit us. The sky would be filled with dust and debris, blocking out the sun's rays, plunging the world into a deep freeze. This is the nuclear winter. Now, you might be thinking, I can handle a little cold. But we're not talking about a chilly day in December, we're talking about temperatures plummeting to levels reminiscent of the last ice age. 
In the blink of an eye, our blue planet would become a frozen wasteland. As if the freezing temperatures weren't enough, the lack of sunlight would have another devastating effect. Plants, which rely on the sun's energy for photosynthesis, would struggle to survive. And with the collapse of plant life, the food chain would be jeopardized. Herbivores would starve, and soon after, so would the carnivores that prey on them. In this nuclear winter, extinctions would become commonplace. Many of the species we know and love today wouldn't stand a chance. From the smallest insects to the largest mammals, the animal kingdom would be hit hard. Now there might be some organisms that could survive these extreme conditions. Deep sea creatures, for instance, that are used to living in darkness or certain types of bacteria that can withstand extreme cold. But for the majority of life on Earth, a nuclear winter would spell the end. This nuclear winter scenario paints a bleak picture. It's a chilling reminder of how fragile our existence is, how dependent we are on the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystem. But it also raises a question. If the worst were to happen, could we recover? Could life on Earth bounce back? We'll explore this in the next part of our journey. Despite the grim picture we've painted, there's a glimmer of hope for life on Earth. This hope doesn't stem from some science fiction plot where we miraculously reverse the damages, but from the resilience of life itself. Let's take a trip back in time. Some 250 million years ago, the Earth had just witnessed the Permian-Triassic extinction, also known as the Great Dying. It was the most severe extinction event in Earth's history wiping out a staggering 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. But life, against all odds, bounced back. Fast forward to 65 million years ago, the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event. This was the asteroid impact that ended the reign of the dinosaurs. Yet again, life found a way to recover, paving the way for mammals to rise and eventually for us humans to evolve. In both these instances, it took life millions of years to rebound but rebound it did. The Earth has its own regenerative capabilities. Over time, the nuclear winter would fade, the sun's warmth would return, the Earth would start to heal itself, and life would find a foothold once again. In the aftermath of our hypothetical asteroid impact, life may take new unforeseen forms. Evolution would seize the opportunity, creating new species adapted to survive in the changed environment. The process would be slow, measured not in human lifetimes, but in geological timescales. Certainly, human civilization as we know it would be irrevocably changed. But that doesn't necessarily mean the end of humanity. We might find ways to survive, adapt and rebuild, perhaps underground or in protected enclaves initially, with technology playing a crucial role in our survival. So while a massive asteroid impact would certainly change life as we know it, it might not spell the end for life on Earth. Remember, life is tenacious and resilient. It survived the worst the universe could throw at it, and it's always found a way to bounce back. So there you have it. A journey through the potential effects of the largest asteroid hitting Earth. We ventured from the immediate, devastating impact, through the ensuing global firestorm and the chilling nuclear winter to the slow, painstaking recovery. It's a stark reminder of our planet's fragility, yet also a testament to life's remarkable resilience. While such an event is highly unlikely, contemplating it helps us appreciate these aspects. Until next time, keep wondering, keep learning,